Fly Vegetation is a multi-part exhibition project including Tobias Putrick, Pamela Rosencraft, uh, the Collective Gelatin, and now Laura Lima. These four artists and artists collective uh, have engaged with the space of the Cisterna, one of the most emblematic spaces in the Fundazione, to play with it, to create certain specific pieces uh, that will engage the audience, members of the audience, to participate in several experiences, to, um, to put this, their senses um, at stake. The artists propose ideas that were transformed, materialized into projects like this one, in which we are invited to engage with different elements. We are not told the category of the elements, this is a classification that for somebody perhaps has no sense at all. And it's particularly this sense of the uselessness of that that creates this incredible proposal called Horse Skin. Cisterna has uh, three uh, spaces and they are pretty much vertical. So this, this was at the beginning one of the most important things for me, the space, you know, that factor is always something that is very important when I think about the project. The first thought that I, that I had uh, when I started researching for this exhibition was thinking about the nonsense and the pathophysics. Let's say if we start from the bird, there is a bird that uh, it seems that the bird fell from the sky and uh, the second place, the second venue in, uh, in Cisterna is uh, an image of a painting that is in a Foucault pendulum. Uh, so we have already two verticals. You can see, you know, it's like a, a huge scene, a geometry. exhibition, we have a kind of a huge stair that's much more elaborate with some paths that doesn't make any sense. But in the second floor, we will have a telescope. So after having astronomy classes the public can have here, uh, they will find a telescope very close to the skylight. And when they look through the telescope to try seeing another vertical in this exhibition. And one of the things that is interesting also in uh, Laura Lima's practice is the sense of truthfulness. We are invited to listen to a natural astronomers to tell us about the connections of the Earth, with planets, with the universe, and, and the connections that we can have also with the perception of our world. So perception is also another element that she tried to distort with her practice. 